Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to today's video guys. And today guys, I'm going to go ahead and be showing you how to time stretch in GarageBand. This is a very simple thing to do guys, so make sure to watch this quick and easy video till the very end and follow my steps correctly so you can make sure that this works the same for you and you can do this yourself. But yeah guys, let's get straight into it. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up the official GarageBand application on your mobile phone if you haven't already and after opening it up if you do not already have it, just go ahead and download it from the App Store and after opening it up, you'll be greeted by this main page right here which is the home page of GarageBand where we can choose the instrument we want to play, we can get started recording ourselves and so on. So you can see you can go ahead and get started with your instruments right here or we can go ahead and get started recording so go ahead and choose what you want i'm going to go ahead and record myself as you can see now we can get started with the recording process we can use the big red button right here at the top of the screen which after you click enables you to record yourselves and now we can get started with adding our effects so basically guys what you want to do is go ahead and choose one of the effects right we have right here and go into the sliders option in the upper left corner click on the sliders button in the upper left corner that's going to enable you to go ahead and access your track settings and basically guys if your track has the option to be time stretch is going to appear right here you'll have your outputs section where you can manage your track volume and so on and we have our plugins and equalizer right here so if you want to go ahead and stretch it what you want to do is find the desired effects right here and then you can go into edit mode so click on the edit mode button in the upper left corner that's going to enable us to find our track right here and as you can see here we can find the track that we have recorded so find your recording click on it and now guys if you want to stretch it you can go ahead and tap on it as you can see and we have our settings right here where you can go ahead and click settings you can loop it and so on and do whatever and when you click on the one end of it you can go ahead and stretch it to how much you want but yeah guys basically that is how to do it so i hope this video was helpful if it was make sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel so you guys thanks for watching take care and bye